This video is one in a series of videos covering how to make a car body for automation, the car company tycoon game, from start to finish. In this video, I'll make underbodies and create the lip placement material, which we need so we can place fixtures like lips and exhausts that hang partially or completely below the body. I'm going to start by edge selecting, using Alt left click to select the first edge loop, then holding down Alt and Shift left clicking to select each additional edge loop. Now I'll press Shift D to duplicate, P to separate, and I'll separate the selection for now into a new object. Now let's hide the car body, select the new underbody object, and tab into edit mode. I'll move over into a top-down view of the front portion of the new object. I'll highlight the first three vertices on the end and press F to fill. I'll continue filling in more faces. I'll work my way around the corner, filling in triangles. Now I'll highlight these vertices along the leading edge, and I'll extrude them back along the y-axis. You might notice that when I made that extrusion, I didn't get any faces. The reason for this is the new vertices that I created with the extrusion have the same vertex weight as the vertices they were formed from, meaning the shrink wrap modifier is trying to glue them back to the face of the target mesh. So I need to select the vertices along the leading edge, and remove them from the shrink wrap vertex group. Now the faces appear. I can now fill in the last face. Don't move any of the original vertices. They are all perfectly aligned with the car body. Adjust only the new vertices you created to make the underbody curve nicely. For reference, I can make the car body visible again. Look under the car body and assign the appropriate material, in this case, the front bumper material. I'll check the face orientation to make sure the faces are pointing the right direction. Using Blender's tools here, blue means you are looking at the front face, red means you're looking at the back face. Now I'll smooth the faces. Let's hide the body and work on the side underbody. I will start the same way I started the front underbody, by highlighting the first four vertices and filling them, and then facing up the rest of the small section where the wheel lip is. I'll repeat this process for the back of the side underbody. One more triangle here. Now I will select the rest of the edge here and extrude it out along the x-axis. I'll jump into Object Data tab and remove these vertices from the shrink wrap group. Now I'll select this vertex here which represents the back of the wheel arch, and with active element as my pivot point, I'll use the S, X, 0 hotkey combo to align the edge to the rear of the wheel arch. Now to face up the last two quads. Again, I'll make the car body visible for reference. I'll make sure the paint material is assigned, and I'll smooth the faces. If you don't have smooth faces in your quick action menu, you can find it here, in the face menu. Now I'll inspect the face orientation. The corners are showing red. I need to flip them around. I'll press Shift-N to recalculate the normals. That fixed the normals for the side, but flipped them around for the front. I could have avoided that by simply not having them selected, but no matter. I'll just select the front, press Shift-N again. And if they don't flip the correct way, you can just come over here to the pop-up window and tick the inside box, and we're done. Okay, one last time. Let's start facing up this portion of the wheel arch here. Now I'll start making triangles around the corner. And again, I'll extrude the trailing edge forward along the y-axis. I'll remove the newly extruded vertices from the shrink wrap group. I'll fill in the last quad. And I'll smooth the faces. I'll take a look at the face orientation, and again I have a mixed bag, so Shift-N, and that will recalculate the normals. 
Let's ignore the fact that I've messed up the materials at the front bumper. I'll fix that in a little bit. I've selected the car body object now and entered edit mode. I'm going around and selecting the edges I want to use for lip placement material. Now from side view, I'll extrude the new faces down and I'll remove them from the shrink wrap group. Now I'll flatten the new edges down along the lowest point using the SZ0 hotkey combo. Now with all the edges selected still, I'll press Ctrl plus on the numpad and that will select the faces of the new lip. Now from the materials tab, I'll add a new material and select the lip placement material and assign the selected faces to it. Now I'll deselect the lower edge selections, leaving the upper edge selected, and I'll make the edges sharp. If you don't have sharp edges on your quick access menu, you can find it here in the edge menu. Okay, to ensure I don't accidentally merge the underbody to the body, I'll untick auto merge editing. Now in object mode, in order, I will click the underbody first and then shift click the body. Now I'll press control J and join the objects together into the same object. Now let's fix the materials. In face select mode, which you can activate by pressing 3 on the keyboard, I'll hover over the rear lip, press L to select the element, and I'll assign the rear bumper material to it. I'll repeat the steps for the front and the front bumper material. If you prefer, you could also use the plastic material. It's a matter of preference as to what you think would look best. This will conclude this video. If you found it useful, give the video a like and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this one as they're released. See you next time!